Okay, so we need to go into the groups view. Okay, so we're in the hats group here. What we need to do is give these only one voice, which means that only one sample can play at a time. So if I don't give them one voice, if I give them the maximum amount of voices and play the hats, you'll hear what happens. So, so while this one's ringing out, you'll still be able to hear this one and it won't choke the open hat. Okay, if I want to make that like a, a real high hat, I go into my groups view and I change my number of voices to only one. And now if we look back in the zones view, when I play the closed hat, it'll choke the open hat. Okay, only one can play at a time if you give them only one voice to use. Okay, so the next thing to do is to deal with our outputs. So we've got our zones, which are inside groups, and now we're going to go into the groups view and assign outputs. So I'm just going to start with three and four, five and six, seven, eight, and nine and ten. Now when I go back to my mixer, I'm going to be able to have my kick, snare, hats and crash on different tracks which will allow me to EQ or process them differently. Okay, so let's save this instrument. I will call it DXS Tutorial. and I'll let it save into the sampler instruments folder at this stage. Save. Let's take a minute. Okay, and I'm going to close this window. Close this window now. So, before I move on, I'm going to save the session. Now, I've saved this session already, but if I show you in the Save As window, the first time you save a session, it'll give the option here to copy EXS instruments and the EXS samples to the project folder. If these boxes aren't ticked, or if one of them isn't ticked, your sampler instrument won't work when it moves to a computer that doesn't have the samples. So those boxes need to be ticked. I've already done that, so I cancel. Now, to create the outputs for our instrument, we click this little plus triangle. We've got a multi-output EXS, and I've already assigned the outputs in the edit page. So if I just press my plus button, I've got different um, buses with the different outputs from the EXS already on them. And all I need to do is label them. So I'm going to go kick. Snare, hats, and crash. Okay. Now, I've already created a little drum pattern, so when I press play, we should hear different sounds coming out of the different tracks. And now I can solo each different element one at a time. And I have the ability to put different processes on each different one. So I'm just going to close these and press stop. Okay, so that is how to use multiple outputs from the EXS instrument. One last thing I can do is create a new auxiliary track, a stereo aux.
And I can create an input on that track, which I'm going to make, let's say, bus 1. I'll call this my drum group. drum group and I'll output the rest of my multi-output tracks to bus 1. So now what will happen is that my drum group, sorry all my drum tracks will pass through my drum group giving me overall control of the drums here.